I was trying to get some filming done, but um, it seems that lots of uh, sheep are interested in what I'm doing. When I first set up my YouTube channel, which is about two years ago now, um, I basically wanted to choose a camera that would be absolutely brilliant for everything I was going to do on YouTube, but also a great camera for taking photographs. Um, I've always loved taking photographs. Um, I'd always had kind of like a, a level up slightly from a point and shoot, so something like a bridge camera. Um, and I came across the Panasonic DMC FZ1000, and that's been my kind of go-to camera, just carry it around, do everything on YouTube with it now for some time. But in this video, I thought I'd compare it because uh, my wife has a Canon 5D Mark III and she's always telling me that uh, my camera's only better because the technology inside does all the work for me. So in this video, we're just gonna test that out, which produces the best image. So when people talk about landscape photography and things like that, what they really mean is you come to somewhere nice, kind of, um, you make sure the weather's all right, kind of, and then you take nice pictures, hopefully. So the best thing to take nice pictures is a very nice camera. And then everyone shouts, get the Canon 5D. So, so despite checking out what everybody else has got, as in, you know, all the YouTubers, what the film people use and all that kind of stuff, I thought I'd go down a different route. Well, you know, it's me after all. And um, I basically looked at the fact that people were going towards 4K as a, woo, wow, new ding, 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 4K. And I thought, well, if I'm in 4K, people are gonna watch my videos more. Well, that's the first mistake I made. So I went for, an affordable camera, bearing in mind when I bought it, it was a thousand pounds, but it's a bridge camera. I've had bridge cameras most of my life. Uh, I don't know, they're just lazier, I guess. Um, the fact that they, the lens, the glass, thank you, um, is all in. So you basically take the camera out, zoom, <laughs> comes back in, wide angle. Um, everything's there. Uh, I just want to make good videos. So I went for the Panasonic DMC FZ1000. Uh, why did I go for that? Well, like I say, it did 4K. Uh, it did obviously HD, but at a higher frame rate, so you can get uh, 60 frames per second on HD. Um, but it's got a Leica lens in it, um, 24 to 400 mil. So I figured, you know, that'll do everything else. But then the actual sort of like, yes I'm having this camera for me was the fact that it's got a um, articulating screen so that means it flips out the side you can see yourself I often look at the screen and not at the lens I'm sorry for that I know you comment lots about it really sorry but it's just like I'm just making sure you know Casey Neistat does it he just wears sunglasses to confuse you all give me a break but anyway getting back to the camera why did I choose it it's got a microphone input and a lot of other cameras don't and this is the only one that all the boxes were ticked tick, 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 and it had a mic input and yes it was a thousand pounds but now they're about four or five hundred pounds and that's why I'd recommend it to anybody else really um, yes I well not me personally um, but my wife has the Canon 5D Mark III I bought it as a birthday present for her because she loves that kind of camera and she doesn't mind swapping all the lenses and everything else she says that I take better pictures on this because the computer does it for me well, I'm pretty sure a Canon 5D's got a computer in it, but but you can't argue with the missus because, you know, like, gets you into trouble and stuff. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, top tip. You heard it from me first. So, I have access to a Canon 5D um, with all the lenses on there, and I've played around with it, and 
it's got a full frame sensor with fancy glass this thing's only got a one inch sensor but in comparison the pictures are very very similar the only thing I'd say with this camera is you can't get that bokeh depth of field effect so well um, but actually I've got some um, extra glass spinning on lenses if you like and um, that screw on top and then that makes the difference But what you've really got to do when you're shooting your camera is find a camera that works for you and works for the photography or video whatever that you're taking and then from that point your skills will grow with the camera in my view my skills have grown with this camera This episode was kind of shot in two places and I've taken pictures of both places, different conditions and different aspects, views, different subjects as well. So you tell me, having looked at the pictures um, between the 5D and the Panasonic bridge camera. So until next time, take care. See you again. Bye.